Hello everyone and welcome to Body Bags. I'll be your reviewer for today. I'm Lonnie from Terra and Tats. And uh, yep, I'm back with another Boris Karloff movie review. Talking about, you know, my friend, my pal, Boris Karloff, you know. And the movie that I'm reviewing is from 1939. It is called The Man They Could Not Hang. It is also part of the Thrillers from the Vault set from Mill Creek. And man, oh man, this is... I really do dig this set. It is such a nice set. You get a lot of good movies with this. And, uh, yeah. And gives me plenty of material to work with. And good material, too. Because, <clears throat> yeah, this is actually a really good movie. <clears throat> Sorry. This is actually a really good movie. I highly recommend it. It's got a really good story. The movie runs at, you know, 64 minutes. So, I mean, it just flies right by. It's you know, barely even a movie, but uh, the story in this is so good. The story is about this doctor, Dr. Savard, played by Boris Karloff, and he's working on this experiment that, you know, the idea is to free somebody. You know, it, it's things that we've heard about, you know, like they've talked about, you know, in medical science before, the idea of, you know, like if somebody is ill or somebody has some kind of a, you know, like a disease or something like that excuse me, the idea is to basically freeze them until, you know, they can restore them and fix them and everything else. Well, so, you know, Dr. Savard, he's planning to, you know, test out his experiment, and he has a medical student named Bob that uh, is willing to volunteer, and he knows that there's a good risk, you know, that he could possibly die from this. But, you know, it's like, they're you know, they're scientific men, and they're like, you know, if we don't, you know, they're of that opinion, you know, if we don't try, you know, if we don't, if we don't make the effort, we don't know what will happen, you know, it's like we, we can't tell him until we do it. And so Bob is willing to make that sacrifice. The problem is, is that Bob is dating Dr. Savard's nurse, and she is not very happy with the idea that he is willing to sacrifice himself for science. And she's, you know, trying to do everything that she can to, you know, stop it from going on. And uh, so, you know, they, you know, Savard, his assistant, and Bob, they decide to go ahead and get started on the experiment. Well, his nurse, Miss Crawford, she decides, you know, she won't, she's going to go to the cops and she's going to have them put a stop to it. So she goes to the cops and she tells them that, you know, that he's conducting this experiment and it could go really wrong and, you know, she needs their help. And so they go to, you know, Savard's house and uh, they see his daughter there and uh, there's a reporter there because as soon as he found out about it, he's like, oh, wow, this is a good story. So so they go and they, they you know, they find Savard and his assistant and they're telling him, you know, like they're going to arrest him and all this other kind of stuff. And and Karloff, Savard, he's, you know, telling them, it's like, you know, please, it's like, you know what, you can do whatever you want to me. Just let me have a little bit more time so that I can restore him, you know, and they're looking, it's all like, well, they, you know, they froze the guy. He, you know, he's dead and everything. And, you know, but he's like, I could still restore him. He's like, you know, you got to let me finish my experiment. And they decide, you know, the, the detective and everybody, they decide, nope, they're not going to let him do it. So they go ahead and they arrest him and all this stuff. And uh, turns out really the, the nurse, she kind of really screwed everything up. It's like, it, you know, um, if she had just let Savard finish the experiment, chances are, you know, Bob could have been saved, but we find out that it's like, well, because, you know, she interfered and, you know, when he told her, he's like, don't interfere, just let me, just let me do what I got to do, you know, let me do this experiment and everything and I believe he'll be fine, but we're never going to know because she interfered and she, you know, got him put in jail. So, you know, he, he goes to jail and then he goes to trial for murder and, you know, everything and he's trying to explain to the judge and the jury about, you know, like, um, you know, his experiments and, you know, like if he had just been allowed to finish the experiment, he might have been able to, you know, uh, you know, come up with a way to, you know, stop death, prolong life, things like this. But, you know, the jury doesn't buy it. The judge doesn't buy it. The, you know, the prosecutor, you know, decides, you know, he's really going to get um, Savar for murder. And, and, you know, they decide they're not going to you know, no life in prison or any of that kind of stuff. They're, you know, they want him to hang, you know, hence the title. 
So anyway, so um, Savard, you know, he decides, okay, well, I'm going to give my body to science, which huh, ironically means he's going to give his body to his assistant, and his assistant is going to try the experiment to try to bring him back to life. So Savard goes, you know, he, you know, he sends death, and he goes to the gallows, and he hangs. And then his assistant gets the body and, you know, does the experiment and everything else, and it proves to be a success. And but the thing is, of course, you know, because Karloff, you know, Savard was hang or hung, you know, they had to uh, do the surgery. You know, he had to do a lot of surgery to repair his neck and stuff. But it's actually it's a really good performance by Karloff because now Karloff does this kind of like kind of like almost like tilt of the head <clears throat> and uh, kind of the way he moves. there. It's really, really good. It what it definitely reminds you of is uh, Igor. When when uh, Bela Lugosi played Igor in, in what was it, uh, Son of Frankenstein? And um, I think there was another one, Son of Frankenstein. Not Bride of Frankenstein, but Son of Frankenstein, I think there was another one. But, uh, you know, how, you know, Lugosi kind of, like, acted with his head kind of tilted to the side and stuff. And, um, you know, but now he he's uh, brought back to life. And so there's time, you know, they're going to do, you know, he needs more surgery. He needs, you know basically to heal and get himself, you know, back together and everything else. But see, now here's a problem. Savard is very, very angry because of the way he was treated, the way the justice system failed him, and the way he was, he believes he was pretty much railroaded if he had been able to just finish his experiment and all this. But, you know, he felt like, you know, the, you know he felt like the judge had it in for him. The jury had it in for him, district attorney, the detective, everybody had it in for him and stuff like that. And so he decides he wants to get revenge on the people that wronged him. So what he ends up doing is, is he, you know, uh, he ends up bringing, you know, the, the reporter, uh, the district attorney, the detective, his nurse. Um, I forget who else, you know, a couple of other people, but he brings them to his house and it turns out that basically now he turned his house into kind of a giant death trap. And now um, they definitely mention on the commentary here. But uh, yeah, now you're definitely getting into, it definitely feels now like Saw 2. You know, when everybody, you had the group of people in Saw 2, they're trapped in the house and, and there's booby traps. And it seems like no matter what they do, they could not get out. And uh, now, you know, um, you know, Karloff is, is, you know, uh, you know, he's mad with rage. He wants to, you know, he wants to get his revenge on everybody. And, but, uh, there is one little problem though. And then this is pretty much where I'm going to stop, but there is one little problem though, is that Karloff's daughter, uh, she ends up becoming mixed up in this scenario too. And so now it's about, you know, like the whole thing's got to stop. Otherwise, Karloff's daughter is going to end up being become one of the victims, you know, in this house of traps, this house of horrors and stuff like that. And I'm going to leave it right there. But this is a really good movie. It's uh, the black and white, you know, it has that great classic, you know, horror film look to it. And um, of course, Karloff, he's totally reliable. You know, he does a great job as always. Um, he's, you know, so compelling to watch. Um, you know, you have a lot of good actors in this movie. Nobody really phones it in. It's a good film. And like I said, you know, at 64 minutes, it flies right by. Um, it almost feels like it takes no time at all. And it keeps you engaged. And especially like when you get to the final act where, you know, now they're all trapped in this house that Karloff pretty much turned into, you know, like a torture house and all this kind of stuff. And they have to try to figure out how they're going to get out of it and everything else. And I definitely do recommend this movie. This movie is really, really good. And, um, you know, just, yeah. And I'm really, really glad I got to review this. And, you know, so I'm really, really having fun talking about these Boris Karloff movies. But, uh, so anyways, so, yeah. And I'm going to get back to the other ones here. But, uh, I'm you know, here next month I'm taking a little break because uh, I just realized, like, you know, there's some more, um, you know, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde movies I haven't reviewed yet. I did the Spencer Tracy one. I did the Two Faces of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde from Hammer. And it's like, yeah, now I realize I want to get some more of the Jekyll and Hyde movies done. So, but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review and I enjoy doing it. So, that's it. So, uh, if anybody took the time to watch this, I thank you for doing it. And I appreciate you for doing it. 
I also hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, would you please leave it a like? If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the Body Bags channel. We have a different reviewer, one for every day of the week. I am the Saturday reviewer. You know, I'm working with a really with a group of really great guys and everybody's doing great stuff. And, you know, I'm really proud to be in this company. And, uh, you know, just man, oh man, I'm just really happy about all this. And uh, we have more fun theme weeks coming up. We have year weeks coming up and everything else. And so, you know, label weeks and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to it. You know, it's just going to be a lot of fun. So uh, that's it, everybody. Take care. Have a good night and I'll see you later.